Now I am going to teach you something new which is called as distributive property. So what do you mean by the term distribution children? Distribution means when I am distributing something equally right. So this is called as distributive property and we are going to learn how to solve the sums in distributive property on addition as well as subtraction. Okay. For example, suppose if I have three numbers A, B and C. Okay. Now, if I have to find out the product of it, okay, using addition. Suppose if I am using it in the addition form, then how will I write? I can write as A into B plus A into C. I can also write as AB plus AC. Okay. Similarly, if it is, if it were like A, B and C in a subtraction form, then the same example we can write as A into B minus A into C which will be AB minus AC. Okay. So, let us try to solve this with an example. For example, if I have a sum, solve fifty seven into eight using distributive property. Okay. Now, this is the question. Now, 57 into 8 can also be written as 57 into 10 minus 57 into 2. Okay. Why? Because we can write since 8 can be written as 10 minus 2. Okay. So, instead of writing it 8, I will split it as 10 and 2. End of the day, I will get the answer as same. Okay. So, now 57 into 10 is 570 minus 57 into 2. So, 7 into 2 is 14. 1, 5 twos are 10, 10 plus 1, 11. So, my answer will be 10 minus 4 is 6, 6 minus 1 is 5, and 4 minus 1 is, I'm sorry, 5 minus 1 is 4. My answer is 456. Now, let us try to solve this directly using a multiplication. If I solve 57 into 8 here, 7 8s are 56, 5, 5 8s are 40, 40 plus 5, 45. So, in both the cases, I get the same answer. Okay. Let us try to do one more. So, this was my question 1. Say question 2, I say solve 65 into 7 using distributive property. Okay. So now 65 into 7 can be written as 65 into 10 minus 65 into 3. The reason is because since 7 can be written as 10 minus 3. Okay. So, now 65 into 10 becomes 650 minus 65 into 3. So, 5 3s are 15. 1 6 3s are 18 plus 1, 19. Okay. So, the answer is 5, 5, 4, 455. Let us try to cross verify whether the answer is right or not. So, 65 into 7. So, 5 7s are 35, 3, 4, 6 7s are 42, 42 plus 3 is 45. So, both the ways my answer is 
correct. Okay. So you may ask me why it should we solve this way when I can multiply directly. The reason is because whenever you find a large sum like this, you may tend not to remember the multiplication. But if you break it using the distributive property, it becomes easier for you to solve and get your desired result. Okay. So this is how we will be solving the sums using the distributive property. Clear? So now we will be going to the next step. Oh, 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 oh,